So where, where did you grow up? For the first seven years of my life on the Upper West Side. And then my father was offered a fellowship at, at the Russian Research Center at Harvard. So we lived in Cambridge for about five years and then came back and been in New York ever since. So um, what was it like for you to, make, to move to Cambridge from at age seven? It was, it, it was very uncomfortable in the beginning. First of all, I was, the, I was the only Jewish one in the whole school. And most, 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 I would say all, none of the kids had ever seen a Jew before. Somehow they sensed, because when I walked into, first walked into the classroom, the teacher said uh, to one of the girls, Margaret, why don't you take Miriam, call Miriam, into the dressing room and show her where to hang up her coat? And so, so I was sitting on the floor taking off my snowsuit, and she looked down at me and she said, what religion are you? <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I, I always want, well, probably Irish girls didn't wear snowsuits. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but I made friends. I made friends, and um, and we found a workman's circle in Boston. And half, I would say, we spent half a week at the workman's circle in Boston. But I, I grew, I grew used to it. I was very sad when we had to come back. But but I have deep. I love Cambridge. I still do. I have a great fun, and I. <laughs> And I still like the Red Sox. That's 